We're covering some basics of the pro programming environment processing. Here we're going to look at external libraries. So processing is a pretty compact number of functions that you can use and that's great for learning programming and it helps simplify things. And they're well designed so that these, you know, this sort of small group of things that you can do that you, you can use actually can do a lot with them. Let's look at, uh, but there's also a number of external libraries. I mean, essentially processing is, jo is Java, so uh, to some extent you can use all or most of the, the Java programming environment, uh, those libraries and, and such for Java. But there are ones spe specifically designed for processing. Uh, and the way you do that, the, probably the easiest way really is to go to Sketch and say um, import a library. So you can go to import library add library and it has you know if you're connected to the internet it shows you all these things UDP vSync for processing the MIDI bus all kinds of cool things so a number of these I have installed already so let's look at this MIDI bus that sounds nice leap motion I guess there's something to do with leap motion controller connects Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Mini, mini, mini. Okay, of course you can also search MIDI. The mini bus. Okay, so let's do that. So you just highlight that and then you hit install. It downloads it and it stalls. Okay. Now, uh, if uh, you can also look things up on the internet, if you go to processing.org. can go to um, libraries and then they'll have contributions and you can go say planetarium that's kind of cool oh you can project things on a dome very cool and then you can download it's taking me to its github page and you can download this thing so if you do that manually you download that those would then go and I think it's the same for Windows at least in Mac these go into um, documents and processing and then there's libraries okay and you just pop that file they usually give instructions on installation and pop that in there but you notice this MIDI one or whatever it was called should be here now the MIDI bus see it's it automatically downloaded and put that in there okay so once that's there you can then use the library and there's a bit of code you can either type it in manually that you have to do to use the library um, and also you have examples so if I go to here examples and then I go to contributed libraries contributed libraries and I go to the MIDI bus there's a number of examples basic let's open the basic one so it tells you basically and you can actually run this and I don't have a MIDI device plugged in right now, but you know it gives you some gives you some basic things there. Usually, they're pretty well commented on how you do that. Okay. All right, so that's importing libraries. Uh, for most projects, uh, we'll be using the OSCP5 library, so that would be one of the first things I would suggest installing. Um, all right, but that but you know there's there's lots to explore there, lots of interesting things. So, but that's how you install library into processing.